Welcome back to Rob Bob's Aquaponics and Backyard Farm. Today on Rob Bob's, here we've got a Wick Wedge hydroponic system. This is an NFT hydroponic system. Down here, we have a recirculating Dutch bucket system. Here we have a wicking grow bag setup, and behind me, a wicking dragon fruit setup. Here we've got a citrus and macadamia nut grow system. So we're up here today with Hucho. Thank you very much for having me, mate. I oh, really appreciate the tour. It, it's a pleasure being on the channel. So Hucho is a hydroponic grower um, in southeast Queensland, and he's been kind enough to invite us up here. And we're going to have a bit of a chat about a grow system I'm planning for the new aquaponic system. But first, I thought we'd have a bit of a chat just about what you've got on the grow here and the different uh, systems you like to use. Yeah. So as you saw in the uh, opening of this video, uh, we've got a heap of grow systems all around the property, and they range from uh, active grow systems, passive grow systems. Uh, there's all different styles of growing. So you've got media systems, you've got NFT systems with very little media as well. Uh, and they're all purpose made for specific plant types. But what I hear you're interested in is the wicking uh, rain gutter grow system. Certainly am. Yeah. Yep. yep. Fell in love with it with Larry Hall ages ago and you've developed it even further um, using the hydroponic methods. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, so do you want to tell me about the, the two different styles you have on the grow here at the moment? Yeah. All right. Let's have a look. Sweet. So at the back here, we've got the round pipe rain gutter grow system. So that's essentially just an auto refill cocoa perlite system that wicks up from uh, the rain gutter below. That's basically the idea behind all of these systems. They'll all wick up from a res, which is automatically refilled from a float valve underneath. Oh, yeah. The only thing that differs between these systems is the method of putting the plant above the system. So this is the latest system that I designed and it was made to get rid of essentially all of the plastics on top of the other systems and yep. use the bag that you get the substrate in um, to wick up from below, which is, this is the wick wedge system. But for your systems, you want them to be recirculating. I certainly do. Yep. Uh, the problem we have with the um, aquaponics is the water is very nutrient dense, especially with organics. Yeah. And I can tell you, um, once it sits in the um, Queensland sun for a little while, <laughs> she tends to get a little bit pongy. So okay. I need the water to keep recirculating around uh, through the fish tank and the other filters in the system. Load up with nutrients again um, to be presented to the plants. So, yeah. yeah, and uh, we were talking about this before and you said that the way that you wanted to get this to happen was to have sort of a deep flow technique? Yes, yeah, not necessarily the nutrient film technique, which is just a thin layer of water or nutrient rich water along yep. the base, something that the roots can actually sit in, because it's also a bit of a built in redundancy. Mm. What if the pump does die, power outage or whatever, there's a little bit of um, probably an inch or so of water or nutrient rich water in the base for the plant to take up. So oh, yeah, you know, I think that would work fantastically, because yeah. all you've really got to do is take all these systems, whichever design you prefer, yeah. cut and paste it, on top of your idea of uh, an entry point and an exit point yes, yeah. for a deep flow. Yes, that's it. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Another thing to consider though is also the, the amount of moisture we can hold in the medium mm. uh, once it is wicked up. So for that purpose, I've considered cocoa. Yeah. And the other thing we're looking at doing is um, just straight soil potting mix, a blend, a soil blend. A good so, blend of yeah. potting mix. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is the float box hydroponic system. Essentially the float valve at the end fills up the reservoir which is this square rock filled bed and the grow bags full of cocoa and perlite wick up from below and feed the plants. Um, now this is similar to the system that you had in the bathtub. Yeah it's, it's basically the same, um, a lot larger, yeah. a lot more food production in it with some very healthy happy looking squash. I really like this idea, the only issue that I really have with it is just size. I'm trying to make everything a lot more compact, a lot more like your little dragon fruit gutter system you got on the grow here. So this is the dragon fruit system, it's uh, much the same as a lot of the other gutter systems. It wicks up uh, through the bottom, through net cups. It's not connected yet to the res uh, which feeds this one yep. uh, once they get into like a more of a fruiting stage where they require a lot more yep. um, that's when I'll add in the float valves but at the moment I'm just filling it up with the uh, old trusty <laughs> yep. but yeah this is kind of this the direction you want to go yeah well this this 
system in particular um, is a good example because we actually have the reservoir tank that they will be hooked up to eventually behind us. Just throwing a few ideas around. What I was thinking was, stop dropping my glasses, <laughs> but have the, um, the fish tank elevated like you would in a normal um, aquaponic system and then have it flow via gravity into basically a rail system like this, a gutter system like this, but have it elevated off the ground. Yeah. So I've got a couple of little benches I could um, use for that. Uh, the reason I like that idea is it's just a single file um, either side of the plant, good for pest control because we're open air like this, mm. um, good for the back because I'm off the ground. And it also means with the height, I can run the gravity into the um, gutter and then straight through into a sump that would sit underneath. And then just a small little pump, whether I do it solar or on a timer switch or whatever, would then pump back into the rest of the system because there will be maybe sand beds, maybe a soil hybrid system, mm. or maybe just clay, uh, clay beads acting as the biofilter. So, yeah, it's given me a few ideas. While you're on that subject, yeah. what do you think of IAVS? Um, I'm actually really like the idea of it. Um, I've seen... Just quickly, IAVS yes. is sand culture. Yes, pretty much. it's basically, um, it is an acronym and that will pop up there. <laughs> uh, um, so it's, what we're doing is using the sand as an all-in-one biofilter um, and also a solids filter. The fish waste is in the water, floods into the grow beds, which are filled with sand on little mounds. Um, the fish waste oxidizes on the surface, naturally occurring bacteria from in the environment. Um, they pretty much will break them all down and um, make, turn them into plant available nutrients. Nothing is lost, everything stays in the system. And apparently you have really great grow rates. Not 100% sold on it as of yet, but that's, that's another system I'm looking at doing mm. as well. I'm, I've got healthy skepticism as well, yeah. um, but I'm open to yes. all styles yeah. of growing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's really exciting. I'm, I'm super excited to see what you can do with this system. Well, actually funnily enough, you can also grow hydroponically in the same method. And one of the big sell selling points for it is you can do your root crops, which apparently you can't grow in hydroponics. See that video up there, check that one out. <laughs> eh? yeah, so, yeah. so just a real quick little ad for our online interactive aquaponics beginner's guide. There is a link that shows you all its features down in the description below and one will pop up here. So pop on over to our website if you want to see what it's all about. Many thanks to everyone who has already purchased it and helped support the channel. We really do appreciate it. That's enough of me spruiking, back to the video. And another thing that uh, folks always ask about with aquaponics as well is, can you grow fruit trees? Um, using this system, I, I dare say we easily could. I mean, you're doing it, there's fruit on the citrus trees. <laughs> um, you had flowers on the macadamia yep. at some stage. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. It's just a different met method of nutrient delivery. I mean, yep. your nutrient comes from fish, mine comes from hydroponic salts. Yep. So anything I can do, you can do. Yep. Anything you can do, I can do. Yeah. Your system would work absolutely fine yep. for something like this. Yeah, and I think we could actually, uh, the dual root zone idea of having a um, soil medium up the top, um, the wicking underneath from the gutter system up into it, mm -hmm. um, delivering, because add a bit of fungi in there for the tree roots, tree roots like a little bit of that, yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and away we go. I actually noticed when we walk around before, <laughs> we've got a couple of mushrooms growing yep. in these tubs as it is, so. Yep. Yeah, no, this Life uh, finds a way. It always does. <laughs> And for you folks, like there are a load of folks out there who uh, want to get into aquaponics, but you're told, you know, you can't grow root crops. See my potato video. <laughs> See who chose potato video with yep. his um, hydroponics. Absolutely. Um, you can't grow fruit trees. I've already done mulberries, papaya, mm. um, raspberries. I like your papaya one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you can. You, you can grow, you know, pretty much all everything. One thing I will suggest yep. that everyone do when it comes to rain gutter grow systems is use larger net cups that I have. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So I, I went with a two inch net cup because it's what I had available at the time and I was just like, you know, this will do. Yeah. But uh, the more wicking media you can get down into that system, yeah. uh, Larry Hall was using, I think it was a three inch net cup okay. and I would recommend using that. So. Yeah. And that, that's, that's fine in these gutters? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So three inch will yeah. fit almost perfectly in these style of gutters. Yeah. Um, I just went two inch. One thing I've got to point out, um, Hucho's done a fantastic job of making end caps for these square gutters yep. um, using, um, well, do you want to explain what yeah. you've done? What so made from? essentially I have uh, designed on a 3D CAD program on a computer, uh, 
end caps that are 3D printable at home. So you take the file, which is available through my Patreon, you put it into your 3D printer at home, and it 3D prints the end caps or buckets or whatever yep. different. There's, there's float valve covers, float valve end caps. Yep. Um, yeah. What, whatever you need you can print it. So it's actually yeah. very applicable for aquaponics as well. Well, I know Rob Torsellini, um, a bigger load brook farm, he does a printed um, bell siphon. How cool. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and he's, he's got those um, available, those designs available on his website as very well. Good. So where, where, sorry again, can you find these? Uh, so these are available on my Patreon. Just, uh, the de just the designs though, not the actual caps. Not the caps yep, themselves. Okay, so yep. only the files that you can use to print them. I've actually got something for you. Give me one sec. I'll not a problem. It. So when I found out you were coming, yeah. I was super excited because Sweet. you are the reason for this chop and flip um, bed actually. Yeah. So uh, one of my first videos was uh, making a chop and flip aquaponics system yep. that just never came about to be an aquaponics system purely yep. because the cost of fingerlings at the time was prohibitive. So I followed your instructions on how to make that bed yep. uh, and I made it and then I fell into the trap of hydroponics obviously. Yeah. So when I found out you were coming today I was super excited and um, I got to printing so I printed you some end caps I'm going to do two sets of end caps, and Sweet. if you need any more, let me know, please. Oh, thank you very much, man. Um, and I wanted to Excellent. give you this because this is something that we have a mutual interest in. So I'll let you open it. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so it's a it's a oh cool. It's a thank hoochie. you very much. <laughs> it's a hoochie's mug. <laughs> cool, so man. I, I thought you Sweet. might be able to suck back a couple of teas. Yeah, uh, not a problem. <laughs> It's coffee. Oh, coffee I'm is a coffee. coffee oh, you're a coffee drinker. I'm a coffee man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, Irish coffee as well is also acceptable. Yeah, so, fair yeah. enough. I love me some Irish coffee. Yeah. I can set Sweet. you up with some whiskey too. Don't worry. Hucho, <laughs> <laughs> where does that name yeah. come from? Oh, it's. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. It's, no worries. That's awesome. <laughs> This is the theme. Oh, new glasses, they don't stick. Nah. Thank you very much, man. Oh. I really appreciate well, thanks for coming. Coming. having a gander at the setup, man. Yeah. I really do appreciate I've it. I've enjoyed being able to pick your brain. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, as you've seen, I have done cracky hydroponics before, and I would like to have a crack at something like this uh, down the line. So it definitely might be something you might see um, Hucho come down to my place and give me a bit of a hand. We'll wait and see. And as well as this video, there will also be a video on my channel. Yes. If yes, you'd so. like to check that out. Yes. No worries. Yes, definitely. Cheers, I'll, mate. We'll Thanks see again. each other soon. So there you go, folks. Thank you very much for coming along and um, sussing out Hucho's system with me. Uh, he's a top bloke, and I really do uh, suggest that you go over to his channel right now. A link will pop up there and a thumbnail at the end of the video and um, suss out what Hucho's all about. Fantastic guides on how to grow your own stuff hydroponically if um, that's what you're into. Uh, before we go quickly, though, I really do want to thank you all for coming along every week and sussing out the clips, giving us a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. Always like to say g'day to the regulars down there. Uh, uh, special thanks, as always, to the YouTube members and also our Farm Your Own Yard supporters. Please check out our Farm Your Own Yard subscription page if you'd like to help the channel out with a couple of uh, cups of coffee here and there. Now I have a decent mug to pop it in, but I will pretty much leave it there. I do hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you next video. Cheers, folks, and happy growing. So this is the floor. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> You're using potato bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, potato bags. They have a dollar each too. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Uh, it recirculate the water through it. It's already set up for aquaponics. Absolutely. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> um,